variegated threads can add dimension and some fun variations in your embroidery stitching. But sometimes when you're stitching a line and you end your thread and start a new thread in the middle of the line, you want to make sure that that's not jarring and obvious. You want to make sure that the color changes are natural. The easiest way to do that is when you're cutting your thread to open it out and look and see where the color repeat is in the line. So in this thread, when I lay it out, I can see that this is about the length of the color repeat. So I have dark brown into light brown, green, yellow, and then back to dark brown. So if I cut my thread there at the color repeat, that will help it be more natural when I move on to my next thread. But if in your thread, the color repeat is too long or too short and you need to cut somewhere that's not at the color repeat, then this is sometimes something that can help. If you had to cut your piece longer, so I had to cut it here so that this end was on the brown and this end was on the yellow, then what I could do is cut it there and then this is six strand embroidery floss. I would probably not be using six strands. I would probably be using two or three then I could stitch one line starting at the brown and going this way. And then the next line where I end on the yellow, I could start stitching on the yellow and go back this way. That would eliminate some of that and help make your color changes look more natural. For more embroidery tips and inspiration, be sure to follow Evita Studio.